Hey everyone, well, it's certainly been a long time and brings back so many memories watching this game. And I'm going to start making the effort of uploading gaming videos every Wednesday, starting today. So we're continuing the 10th episode of Let's Play Silent Hill 4 The Room um, after a two and a half month hiatus. So I do apologize for not uploading these videos sooner. I do have it in my schedule, just never had the time. So anyways, so this is a red paper. Uh, you can read it, just pause the video. Uh, basically it talks about Joseph's um, findings about Walter Sullivan. Um, basically what he's telling us is that he was abandoned as a baby. Uh, he was admitted to the wish house by the superintendent Frank Sunderland and he really believes that room 302 was his mom and the really nasty people at the wish house told him about the 21 sacraments and that the 21 sacraments would bring back his mom and in order to do that he would have to kill 21 people and there we go that's the plot of Silent Hill 4 and then we have to stop it right because the apartment is cursed yeah, so far, um, Walter is really doing a damn good job. He killed 19 out of 21 people, with the recent victim being Richard Braintree. Uh, we noticed that victim number 20 was uh, Eileen Galvin. He tried to kill her, but he failed miserably. So he might get a second chance, and oh, I can probably just assume that we're number 21, but meh, can't be, right? Okay, so now we gotta go down this everlasting staircase. Now, what's really ironic was that in the first time that we visited the apartment, well, the building world, we were going up to see our old pal Richard Braintree, the kid lover. But anyway, this time we're going down, because I'm labeling this video, or I'm calling it the searching for the ultimate truth, because that's pretty much that's what we have to do. We have to dig down deeper in the brain of Walter Sullivan to find the truth. Alone. I won't leave you alone, honey, because you are not alone, and I am here with you. And then I love Michael Jackson. No, really good singer. Love his work. Anyway, so killing a bunch of hummers, those pesky little insects that I would love to feed to my tarantulas, but they're kind of big to actually risk one of them from eating it. So, um, we are coincidentally on the 23rd basement level, so that's a huge, huge map that we have uncovered. Anyway, so Eileen, thank you for killing something that I already killed. So on the 23rd basement floor, uh, don't forget to pick up the last item in the world, which is the portable medical kit. And that's so important, isn't it? Okay, so now for waiting for Eileen Galvin, who walks at 10 kilometers an hour, and we are going to go through this door and we are going to encounter yet another mini boss. Hmm. Oh holy crap, what the hell is this? Oh these are look like uh, large versions of Wallman. Okay, so basically this is the truth enemy. So the object of this boss is that we have several different wallmans and you have to kill the one that's the truth. Now the truth means that you have to pick the one that will make all of them suffer. Okay so Eileen's gonna give us a hand here because I need her assistance. Okay so now I'm trying to, try to figure out which is the one. Okay so don't think I got it this time. So maybe the third time's a charm. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'll you take the one on the left, I'll take the one on the right. Okay, so.
so I don't think that's it. Ow! Okay, so I have a good feeling about this one. Maybe this is the one here. And I think they're all random, so they all always change in a different position. Uh, no. Totally missed that one. Uh, Eileen, you found it? Oh, yeah, they're definitely. Eileen has found the ultimate tree, so there we go. You guys to keep hitting him until the door unlocks. And usually that thing has about like one or two rounds of hitting. And make sure you really equip um, Eileen with a weapon here because she really comes in handy. That's the only time I really find Eileen very useful in helping us uncover the ultimate truth. And yes, I know we just can't leave Eileen alone. But she had a rough life. Okay, so going down the ultimate staircase. Uh, sadly, this is the last time that we're going to be visiting this era place here. Okay, I'm just waiting for Eileen to come. And there we go. Well, okay, the more. I wish I had a light here, but. Unfortunately, we don't have, and we're just basically do making what we have do. Okay, going down the spiral staircase. Seems to be everlasting long. And... Oh, do I see a bottom to it? Oh, I do. I see a bottom. Hurrah! We are at the bottom of the staircase! Yahoo! Woo! Hey, room 302. What the heck? So, now, I had a weird dream today. The one with the man here. I saw that man with the coat 10 years ago at the apartment. He was going up the stairs, carrying a heavy tool, a not-looking bowl. And I never saw him again after that. A few days later, a neighbor complained that he was in room 302, looked around here. And he saw some signs of activity, but nothing really serious. Sunderland. Yep, Frank's diary. Okay, awesome. Back to where we once started. Back to square one. But something doesn't feel right. Alright, uh, yeah, there's our apartment. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, that's what our stuff once was. Huh, something very different. What's all with these candles? Where's my TV? Okay, there was a baby once and a mother who were connected by a magical core, but one day the core was there, but the baby made lots of friends at the wish house. His friends told him to wake up his mom, so the baby went right away to go wake her up. Because the one he's trying to wake up was actually the devil, the baby was deceived. The baby cried and cried and cried when he thought of his mother. He remembered the feeling of being connected to her magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The baby felt good. And with the cord clutch in his hand, the baby went happy to sleep. Yeah. Okay, so that was part of what I saw there. The crimson tone. Uh, the son of the Holy Mother, but actually that's the son of the devil. And that is the 21 sacraments. So, the people of the wish house did a very naughty, naughty thing. And pretty much, uh, these are the themes of the um, of the sacraments: temptation, which was uh, Cynthia, the source, uh, which is Jasper Gain, uh, because Jasper read about this stuff; um, watchfulness, which is the uh, Andrew De Salvo, because he watched Andrew. Uh, he watched. Walter Sullivan, and of course Chaos, which is Richard Braintree because he was very chaotic. Hey, this is the same code that we saw. Whoa. Well, that brought back a lot of flashbacks here. Break out the wall. August 3rd. Wow, Joseph was real hurry here. Arlene's mother is the blood. So, does she. Does Walter think Arlene's his mom? Crimson Tone. 
yeah, I'm just not reading this. I don't know if you like reading. Yeah, but who really toned down the color? Oh! There's something on there. Henry, you gotta clean your apartment. Because I do believe something's are coming. Eileen, do you see something? <gasps> oh, Henry! Look! It's him! It's him! You've done well to make it this far. Let me tell you something about him, Walter Solomon. When he was a little boy, he began to believe that my apartment was actually his birth mother. He decided to free her from the stains and corruption of this world. At the orphanage, he learned of the 21 sacraments only way to purify her. He then performed the ceremony of the Holy Assumption and created this twisted world. Now he's become nothing more than an inhuman killing machine. Well, he's dead now, but he's still trying to complete 21 sacraments. His boyhood desire to return to the bosom of his birth has divided him. Now his child self has manifested itself in this world. And soon he's planning to finish his work Twenty-one sacraments. Number That's twenty. The mother reborn. Eileen Galvin. Number twenty-one. The receiver of wisdom. Henry Townsend. Darn it! We're number twenty-one. Even now, it may not be. Too late. So how do I kill him then? Follow the crimson tone. Stop off. If not, wherever you run, he will catch you. Uh oh, that's not good. His true location. It must be nearby. You must kill him. You must kill him. Kill. 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 Hurry. She's taken over. Yeah, she's number twenty. She's number twenty. We got you. The crimson tone. Obey the crimson tone. Kill him. Must kill him. Kill. 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 Okay, so this ghost really wants Walter Sullivan dead. So basically, uh, that is Joseph Schrieber, victim number 15, and he was the past tenant of this um, apartment. So we picked up the axe, and we're going to enter the hole, and going back to our real apartment. So uh, going back to the hole, and we're going to investigate. So. Because we found the pick sacks of hope near the wall between our bedroom and our bathroom, gee, I wonder, hmm, could it really be there? Huh, you know what, let's go find out.
So Henry is going to be a really great, uh, I don't know, demo, uh, listen guy, and he's, whoa, what the? It's good skill, what's that? Okay, we're going to do that. Holy crap, you did a lot of damage there. Well, that's probably about like $500 worth of damage you just caused there, Mr. Townsend. So, a message to everyone, do not let Henry Townsend be your tenant, because he will destroy your property. Okay, going into that room. Oh, uh, what the? What the? Geez, oh my god. Oh, what is that putrid smell? I can probably hear him saying, what the hell? Oh, oh my god, my eyes are stinging. Oh, I can't bear the smell. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, let me get that cap. Where is that cap going? Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me go. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Well, that's Walter Sullivan, all right. Victim number 11. Oh boy. He sure seen better days, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, Walter. Wow. Mangled up in a pipe. If you investigate his coat pocket, guess what it has? You have the key to liberation. So, can we finally leave our apartment and return to a normal lifestyle? Well, I hope we can find out very soon. And you really can't believe the place was here. Well, if you kind of visited your apartments, you probably kind of had the assumption that there had to be a little small uh, place between your bedroom and your bathroom. Anyways, so... Um, we're going to visit our chest and dump off some of the nutrition drinks because we don't need them. And that's pretty much good for now. Oh, cool. One last red paper that we're going to read before we end the episode. And basically, this is the 21 sacraments and all the numbers. So we have Billy Locane and Miriam Locane, which are the uh, stuff that we learned in Hall 2. And Joseph Schrieber, the guy that we just talked to. And, of course, our victims. Sad, sad victims. Anywho, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching everyone and stay tuned for episode 11 where we'll explore our apartment once again.